Welcome to Minlian's RGB Mini Controller Version 3 Operating Guide from your provider of cutting edge LED lighting products. Table of Contents Features and Uses, Ratings and Specs, Parts and Connections, Outdoor Installation, Controlling the Lights, The Built in Effects, Remote Control Operation, Mini Controller Operation, Connecting Lights, Power Considerations, Startup Delay Option, Questions and Resources. Features Minlian's Mini Controller is a simple to use and powerful RGB light controller used to select colors and play effects on holiday displays, storefronts, or small building perimeters. Individually control up to 500 RGBs, 1500 channels. Control nearly a thousand lights with power injectors and copy spacers. 22 built-in effects, up to three custom color selections, 12 key remote control. It remembers the last effect used after powering the controller off. Four memory buttons, save effect, and also the color, speed, and intensities. USB port allows live control via PC using Minlian's Lightshow Pro software. Functions as a 1500 channel DMX dongle and has an optional four second power up delay. Uses. Minlian's RGB Mini Controller version three is best served in residential and small commercial jobs. Control about 1000 lights with the proper power and data accessories. Some designs and designers have pushed beyond this number. We encourage you to test your design and see what you can do. Holiday decor, theater and stage lighting, special events, scenic decor lighting, sporting events, storefront attractions, mobile installations, and animated musical displays. Ratings and specs. The Mini Controller version 3 is IP65 outdoor rated and UL and CUL listed. It's FCC certified. It has 12 bit per color with 4,096 dimming steps per color. The dimensions are three inches long by two and a half inches wide and an inch high. The remote control battery type is 12 volts DC alkaline, type 23A. And the working temperature is a negative 20 degrees to positive 50 degrees Celsius and a negative four to a positive 122 degrees Fahrenheit. Parts and connection. A basic setup for 50 RGB lights or less. Mini controller, mini controller remote control, the 1.5 amp 12 volt DC power supply, an optional five foot spacer cable, and the Minlion RGB lights. Outdoor installation. When mounting the controller outside, ensure it is mounted from the hook eye with the power socket and USB port facing downward. If the USB port is not being used, engage the silicone cap. Controlling the lights. Control Minlion RGBs through the 12 key remote, select up to three alternating colors, select from any of the 22 built-in effects, change variation, or through the mini controller device, two button functionality, scroll through the 22 built-in effects and change variation, but not color. The preferred operating method is the 12 key remote. The 22 built-in pre-programmed effects. Effects one through 13 are fixed color effects. 14 through 22 are flex color effects, custom colors the user changes on the fly via the remote control. Favorite colors and effects. The 12 key remote allows users to save, store, and retrieve four favorite effects through keys E1 through E4. And you can change your favorites at will anytime. The built-in mini controller light effects. On the left side of the chart are the fixed color effects with a brief description. On the right side are the flex color effects. All effects have a 10 level speed or style variation. A bulb will flicker to show which number effect the user has displayed. For example, the second bulb will flicker before entering show mode. The sixth bulb will flicker prior to displaying Christmas lights. Using the remote functions, the mini controller remote has 12 keys. 
as features allow full control of your RGB lights. The power and intensity buttons are at the top of the remote. Buttons C1 through C3 allow the users to select their colors. A press and hold will scroll through the color wheel. A release selects the color. Buttons E1 through E4 set and recall your favorites. When a desired effect is displayed, press and hold these buttons to set. Once set, a short press will recall the effect. Repeat these steps to overlay a new favorite. The speed button adjusts the speed up to 10 levels. The FX buttons go to the previous or the next effect in the order of the chart on the previous slide. Note, once your selected colors are set in buttons C1 through C3, it is a good habit to save as one of the favorites in buttons E1 through E4. Setting the number of lights on the controller. This is important to learn when connecting additional strings to the strings already connected to your mini controller or when moving the mini controller from one design element to another. We also call this bulb count mode. After all the lights are connected together and powered on, press and hold the power button. After a second, most if not all the lights will turn red. Press FX arrow up to increase the number of lights connected. Press FX arrow down to decrease the number of lights connected. Notice a blue light move from the end of your light string. This is the final bulb you are selecting to control. Press and release the power button to engage your selection. The lights will return to the last effect. Note, if the blue light does not appear, the mini controller is commanding more lights than appear. This will cause the effects to display wrong. For example, ping pong will bounce back and forth immediately. Press FX arrow down so the blue lamp is the final light. Selecting colors and effects. Color selection. Individually press and hold C1, C2, and C3 to set your desired colors from the color wheel. Release the button when an appealing tone of color appears. For two colors, select the bulb off position as you scroll through the color wheel for the third bulb. For a single color, select the bulb off positions for the second and third bulbs. Effect selection. Press the FX buttons to scroll up and down through the 22 effects listed on slide 8 in their listed order. Press E1 through E4 to engage your favorites. Mini controller operation. Number 1. The play button. Plays the next effect, or if held down, turns the power off and saves the effect for the next power up. Press to turn lights back on. The Variation button, number 2. Adjusts speed or style of effects up to 10 levels. Number 3. The 12 volt DC power socket with silicone cap. Number 4 is your light plug. Number 5 is the USB port. The mini controller connects to a computer for direct control via Lightshow Pro sequencing software. Ensure that the supplied USB cover is in place if not being used. Connecting lights. The RGB mini controller can connect and individually control 500 Minleon RGBs, or nearly 1,000 lights with copy spacers and power injection every 100 feet or 100 lights, whichever comes first. Minleon RGBs have a female plug at the end to connect additional RGBs. Connect any type of Minleon RGB. Always disconnect power before adding or removing lights. If not, we need to recycle the power after the connection is made. Note, when bulb or pixel spacing is increased, fewer lights can be powered and controlled over a similar distance. The mini controller system is 12 volt DC. Power considerations. When connecting RGBs, the power supply must be increased. For each Minleon RGB light, account for 0 0.035 amps. A 1.5 amp power supply will run about 40 to 50 Minleon RGBs efficiently. Minleon's 5 amp power supply efficiently runs about 100 RGBs with the mini controller with pixel spacing of one foot or less. Inject additional 5 amp power supplies down the line with power T's. Note, 
bulb spacing, or pitch, accounts for the variability in the number of lights a power supply can run. The longer the distance the power has to travel, the fewer lights it will control. Refer to our light design wireman management tutorial for details. Also note, some power supplies may run more than the recommended amount of RGBs, but if left running, the user risks overheating the power supply, maybe not overnight, maybe not after the first week, but it could happen over a couple months on a permanent installation. In custom designs, we recommend testing the end of the line with a voltmeter. For efficiency sake, this number should read 8 volts DC or higher when running Minleon trick tricklets and 7 volt DC or higher when running all other Minleon RGBs. Methods for connecting additional power. Replace your current power supply with a larger power supply. Inject and isolate an additional 5 amps of power with the power T. Use 16 port signal amplifier board with up to a 40 amp power supply. Refer to Minleon's accessory guide tutorial for details. The startup delay. The startup delay is important if you're injecting power down the line. If the mini controller begins to send data before the power injected strings are powered, those strings will not receive the commands. To delay the data for four seconds at startup, power on the lights and the controller. Press and hold the power button on the remote until all the lights turn red. If the first bulb is red, the controller will power immediately. If the first light is orange, the lights will power after a four second delay. To switch between the two options and make the first bulb change between red and orange, press the C2 button on the remote control. To save your startup option, press power. The lights will then return to the last effect. Questions? Please email minleonusa2 at live.com and reference this presentation. We encourage you to view these related tutorials. The Accessory Guide, Light Design Wire Management, Safety and Troubleshooting Guide, Software Guide, and the Warranty and Product Specs Guide. Thank you for your interest in Minleon RGBs.